I am Edgar Constantinople. We are back with live action sports news. And my co-host has been replaced. Thankfully enough, because Dave Noodle was such an idiot. Couldn't even remember ICP's real name. Slicey P my ass. Meet my new co-host. Introduce yourself. Goat boy. Goat boy. Part man, part goat. Now then. Today's topic. Sorry, nervous habit. Today's topic sounds exactly like that. Mumble rappers. Mainstream bullshit. Such as... What if you take it to the underground? Such as... Everybody's saying hip-hop's dead. No, it's not dead. It lives underground. Thankfully enough. Thankfully enough, it's still You just have to search for it. It's got a life somewhere, thankfully enough. Now then, such as members like... Was that one guy? Little, little Zane. Little Zan. Little Zan. Zan, 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 Zan X something. Zan X. <laughs> Chris Webby fucking destroyed him. Yes. Then you got that fucking guy with all the tattoos over the way. 6'9". Takeshi 6'9". He must really like sucking dick, doesn't he? Or eating ass, something. Nah, no, I'm pretty sure he's sucking dick while sucking another guy, while getting his duck dick sucked by the same guy that he's sucking dick. That's why he has 69 every fucking where. Over, what, what did that guy say? Over 100 pounds? Or something? Yeah, something like that. Disgusting. Anyways. <sighs> you cannot stand members of people like that. Can't understand. Yeah, how, is, how is mumble rap a thing? I don't understand. Like, are the kids that are listening yeah, to music now, oh, are yeah, they fucking retarded? Yeah. Why the hell do you sound like you just woke up out of fucking bed and you can't get the hell out? Because you've got morning wood because you just popped a bunch of Viagra when you went to bed. The fuck is wrong with you people? This one seems to be an anger. It's going to be an angry episode. It might be. <laughs> nice. But I don't get... Another thing I don't get, though. What's with all the face tattoos? I don't know. I could never I could never get a face tattoo. Personally, I won't get one over here. Personally, face. it would fucking hurt, but, I would think. But, you know... I got these when I was younger. Yeah, well, things happen. I mean, if you can cover them with a short sleeve like that one over there, I mean, that's what I would do. But everyone likes this one. Yeah, I know. That, that's, that's probably his best one. Well, yeah. But I don't get it. Where, what happened that mumble rap took over? Tupac and Biggie died. <laughs> yeah, but it didn't take over immediately after they died. Well, that's what is pissing so many fucking people off. Lil Zan's fucking dissing Tupac. It's like, he's dissing someone that can't defend himself. Probably because he knows anybody else can actually <laughs> fire back and kill him. Yeah, like Chris Webby. Exactly. <laughs> but it's like, if you're going to pick someone to fucking diss, yeah. pick someone that's alive. Yeah. Even if they're on their deathbed, I'm pretty sure they could probably kill you. But still, at least try. At least attempt to make yourself relevant. But, I mean... The thing with the face tattoos is, I know tattoos are supposed to hurt a little. Wouldn't that be fucking excruciating, though? Well, there was that one video that we saw that was, uh, they said they don't actually hurt that much, which is surprising. I would think, because there's no meat or anything on your face. Especially on your forehead. I don't know. <laughs> I don't get it. And all these fucking mumble rappers, all these fucking mumble rappers sound identical. I know, yeah. Uh... They all sound like they have, they're choking dick on golf somebody. balls, or choking on dicks or something. Dick girl, yeah, yeah smoke pot. Yeah. What the hell's no it's, <laughs> it's all sex, Sweet. drugs, and money. Yeah. That Pull sums up today's rap. Pull my millions that I made for doing this. Yeah. What the fuck is that? I could have made a million dollars off of that, didn't I? Couldn't I? I could have. Probably. Probably. Well, we had, we had to do put beat to it. I know. God damn. Put it on YouTube. Brilliant, aren't I? Brilliant, aren't I? Seems like it. But I just, I don't get it. Like, that's the thing. My niece, that's all she listens to. Yeah, I could know. I, I and it's like, to. my brain would melt out of my fucking ears. I agree. My ears would be bleeding if that's what I listen to. Agreed. Agreed. <laughs> I don't, I don't get it. Where did people go wrong? Huh. Why did these people get famous? 
I don't know. And then like if you look at different people online, like the really fucking good rappers, look at their views compared to these fucking mumble rappers. Oh they got God. ten times the views. I know. I know. I know. And it's like why? Why are people watching these people? Ugh. I can't stand them, those mumble rappers. I, I can't tell any of them apart. No. They all sound the If you played insane. five songs in a row from five different people, I would think they were the same person, probably. Unless one of them was Ziggy Azalea. I could probably pick her out. Only because she has a chick. But that's me. <laughs> that's what I don't get, though. Why would you want to listen to people that sound identical? I would want to listen to people that sound completely different from each other. Exactly. At least have some differentiation. Like, but if your music, you can't tell the artist apart, there's something wrong. Agree. Agree. I just, it, I don't know. And it just, it doesn't seem to be getting any better. If anything, it seems to be getting worse. Agree. Like, I thought everything was like Lil Peep killing himself or whatever, dying. I thought that would have helped a little bit. I don't know like, who the fuck that was. Well, was some guy that had face tattoos. Oh, okay. Well, he well. ended up committing suicide probably on Xanax. <laughs> I, mean, I don't mean to laugh at the dead, but you would think that would wake these fucking mumble rappers up to stop that shit. Like, they're not invincible. I just, it just doesn't make any sense to me. Not a single thing made sense to me the entire time we were listening to any of their songs. Or at least attempted to. I got about four seconds in and I was like, FUCK THIS SHIT! <laughs> That's because the first thing out of their mouth was sex. Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay, I'm done. Click. <laughs> That's all the fuck you're going to sing about. You have a problem. Yeah. That money and... It's like... Sex, money, drugs. Sex, money, and drugs. Okay. I mean, there's plenty of rappers underground that also make money, make songs about sex, money, and drugs. But they do one song. It's not their entire career. <laughs> Unless you're Cottonmouth Kings. And then it's just completely drugs. <laughs> yeah. And then, I uh, heard their, their new song CD sucked. <gasps> I, I heard it sucks. But that's a different topic. Different topic entirely. <laughs> Anyways. So, um. Shout out to Kings. Yes. I'm pretty sure that's all we had to say. Yeah. These videos are short. They're not really that long. Obviously not. Mm. Mm. Well, we'll see you next time on. Weather action news, I think that's what Something like that. <laughs> I don't know, we haven't figured out the name for it yet. Or weather sports. Something. Weather sports and news. This one's just fuck mumble rap. Fuck mumble this, rappers. <laughs> this, I think that's what I'm going to name it. Fuck mumble rappers. Fuck Sounds mumble good. rappers. Okay, we'll see you all next time. Joel, I thought I told you to stay in that hole. God damn it, Joel. This was Edgar Constantinople and Goat Boy. Who's after Joel? Who is now after Joel? Teddy Bear Pete, shout out.